Hello everybody, I've got that Abus what I picked a couple of days ago. But guys, yeah, I've repinned the thing. I'm just trying to set this tripod up to the best I can so you guys can see. It keeps one of the legs keeps dropping. So I've got to keep it right. Anyway, guys, uh, let's get it picked. I'll be using my homebrew. Homebrew um I'll be using my homebrew tension wrench on one of my feeler gauge picks. So I got something off five there. It accounted it rotation, but I lost my fault set. Excellent locks, these Abus locks. Got deep faults there. Eh? Especially if you're beginning to pick out, beginning to learn to pick. Excellent for learning tension control. Got a Wilker picked last night. I believe they contain serrated key pins. Swap to the modified uh, sparrows pick. Really pleased with it. It was a really steep hook, and I just like turned it small for tight keyways. That was pin one. That was I don't know what pin that was, but this one I'm sure is pin three now. Getting counter rotation clicked in place. Try number two. Go, we got a nice deep fault set. This weekend, I shall be making some half diamond picks. Some starter feeler gauge. Put some handles on it. Big click there. A nice falsy. There, even bigger faults, huh? I believe I've had this pick for nearly three years and it's not even bent or anything and I've used it like hell.
very deep faults huh? there we go guys picked open let's do the terrifying bit now the most horrible thing gutting yep there you go there's the lock i'm gonna put it down here so you guys can see everything that's going on let's zoom totally out there you go guys gotta make sure you guys can see uh, here's the lock there's the bloody follower mm, there we go no not that one these followers from UK Bump Keys for the five are really good followers. After my one of my green ones were from Bosnian Bill through Wadisi 2. Thank you very much. You sent them. I ended up snapping one of them. Don't ask me how, but I did. And anyway, I uh, so I decided to get some. So I got these, and they're really good. Here we go guys, hopefully. Oh nothing ran smoothly there. Uh, my pinning tray is empty for once. There you go guys. Uh, this is just another car I had. Uh, it's a Ruko car. Can't get it back together. Shit, come on. Drop pin one, serrated barrel pin. Where's my pinning tool? There, they are. there you go, guys. One, number. Come on, number two. Number two is a small serrated pin. Number three is a another serrated pin. Uh, I think these are all serrated. Number four is a like a spool barrel. Number five is a like a T pin. And the core, it's only number two. Number two is and one is one is slightly threaded, and number two is a bit. I would have threaded it more, but my die, my top and die thing, though it's worn out. The threading on that's gone. So we we'll start with pin one. Oh shit. Pin one is uh like a T pin thing, but then it's I've put a wafer underneath. So to keep the edge thing in uh like a barrel pin serrated. Oh shit, where's it gone man? Oh good job I got it. Here it is. Uh, pin 4 is like a serrated. Pin 3 sorry. Uh, pin 4 is a large T pin. Like a T pin spool pin. And last but not least, pin 5 is a T pin. You get a good look at these now guys. Here we go guys There you go Can you see that pin 1 I put it exactly like that That's why that fault set It was like a bit jerky But these are like my new type of design They like If you can see here They like a barrel I've left a barrel in there Like number, number 2 as well Because I've seen some key pins I think Dr. Pin Dr. Bint picking them with like barrels on them on a yell. So I think they look good anyway, guys. Thank you very much and goodbye.